If not for this man, would we have never got to see Shohei Otani in the MLB? In the early 1960s, Masanori Murakami was a talented left-handed pitcher playing in Japan for the Nankai Hawks, now known as the SoftBank Hawks. He caught the attention of MLB scouts, leading to a unique opportunity for him to join the San Francisco Giants on a exchange program in 1964. As the first ever Japanese player to make it to the MLB, he faced enormous pressure and scrutiny. During his debut season, Murakami showcased his pitching prowess, pitching to a 1.80 ERA and an incredible strikeout-to-walk ratio of 15, earning respect from teammates and fans alike. However, Murakami's situation became complicated when the Nankai Hawks demanded his return to Japan after the 1964 season. This led to a contractual dispute between the two teams, with the NPB commissioner eventually ruling in favor of Murakami, allowing him to return to the San Francisco Giants for the 1965 season. Despite facing linguistic and cultural challenges, Murakami continued to impress during his second season in MLB, pitching to a 3.75 ERA in 74.1 innings. Unfortunately, after the 1965 season, Murakami's MLB journey came to an abrupt end. He returned to Japan due to the evolving relationship between MLB and NPB, which had agreed not to sign each other's players. Nonetheless, Murakami's trailblazing career laid the groundwork for future Japanese players to make their mark in MLB.